Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress. And we start with the Boats of Decency returning, recovering Talonborn. That was really fast, right? Like, we just sent them out a very short time ago. All right, let's take a look at that report. Not expecting this. Um, I'm looking at the report. Is that, that is that's it? You, you did nothing? I'm confused. That was your report? Your report was that you set out. I'm very confused. Let's send you out again. I feel like that didn't work. Um, all right, here's the screen. Yeah, let's, let's try this again. Artifacts. And we should be able to find it very quickly this time because I have a much better sense of where it is on this list. It is... Uh, never mind. Hold up. Talon. There it is. Okay. Recover. Artifact. Yes. Sign squad. Boats of decency. Do it. Okay. Try again, please. All right. So hopefully they'll do that. Um, we are getting closer. We are building this floor right here, and I'm excited about this episode actually exploring this level of the caverns. We have this very safe bridge now. Uh... Petition for entertaining? No. No, no, no. I mean, it could... Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think we're going to start doing that. All right, we did dig out all the rest of this, so our pasture should be growing. And I guess... It... Boy, I could remove the zone and recreate it. Yeah, I guess so. First, I'll remove it. It's, it's always a little painstaking doing this. You can't just expand it, unfortunately. That would be a very nice quality of life um quality of life feature if toady would do that but as it is this will have to do just destroying and recreating um we will do animal training and also pen pasture set it up and we'll have to set them all up here so we have no no poultry or fowl uh kv boar yes ranger cow llama you um, none of these. War, um, yes, the war lion. Uh, and the sow and the goat. And the horse. And the llama and the donkey. None of these goslings. Did, did these just, um, hatch? Or something? Oh, look at all these chicks and pults. Very cool. We have an alpaca we can put in here. It's good to do this and kind of get a sense of, like, what animals we actually have here. A yak bull. Kitten gosling. Yeah, we have a lot of chicks and stuff. A ram, baby llama, not the key. Buffalo calf, not the hydra. Um, we have a puppy? We have a puppy. Um, I wonder if we should tie up the puppy around here. Alpaca, llama, goat. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna do it. Hold on. Let me get rid of... Let me remove these ropes. And then uh, put a new one right in the middle, if I can. I don't think that blocks um, caravans, I'm pretty sure. Uh, speaking of, we, do we have a caravan here right now? Uh, anyway, um, what is that? Trap? Rope? What is it? Um, support animal trap. Restraint. There we go. We're going to put you right here. Yes, that's fine. We should definitely make some more ropes if we have the material. I mean, we do make... We tend to make uh, prioritize bags over that stuff. And others have returned. I didn't get a mission report, though. Zold, uh Tun, are you in the squad that we just sent out? The Boats of Decency? No. Oh, you were part of the Glorious Boats. You returned. Do we have a mission report from you? What did you return from? Maybe we need to wait till they, like, come back into our fort to get the mission report, or they talk to the mayor or something. I don't know. Um, we also have, of course, Id. Oh, Id is standing over the hatch. Finally. Okay. It is standing over the hatch. We could keep it in here indefinitely because it won't ever starve because it is a vampire. But, all right, 
We're going to do this. Pull it. Pull the lever. Do it now. Okay, let's watch this. Don't move it. Do not move. Do not move. Do not move. Are you falling? Did I catch you falling? I did. I caught I caught it falling. Mid fall. I've never seen one mid fall like that with like that that like uh, cyan background. Um T. Wait. I can I not look at you? Oh, there you are. Open space. Don't be afraid to do anything to get ahead in this world. <laughs> yeah, horrified at seeing Abdul Tin Love's dead body, even though you probably killed killed that person. Enraptured after commuting with the venerable tresses. Oh, that's nice. It's nice that you were able to um, worship your god before you died. Um, your right lower arm is dented. Yeah, you're 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 healing. You are actually healing pretty well, I think. You have some scars, but um, even though you're slow to heal and flimsy. So these were your last thoughts. Let's scroll down here. Oh. Acquired. Wait, what? Something about acquiring something. I thought I saw. I don't know. We sent you on a mission and you failed. Hopefully you feel bad about that. Yeah, you dreamt of making a great discovery. Well, all right. We're going to uh, go to the bottom where you will land. In theory. Wait a minute, where's the other? Oh, there. And resume. Oh! Yeah, there you are. You are dead, right? Dead? Ushav. Your name is now Ushav. Wait, that's your neck. Your neck has been separated from your corpse? Is that is that what I'm understanding? I didn't know that necks could be separated from your head and body. Like, I thought neck, yes, but that's, your your neck is, or I mean your head, yes, but your neck is separate. That's fun. Okay, so, uh, we did it. I assume this is now filled with, um, with vampire blood here. We should definitely have vampire blood. Oh, we should have had you drop your shield. Eh, it doesn't matter. Shields are cheap. You probably and you had a copper pick. Oh no, I think that pick was the uh, the other person. I don't know if you had a weapon. You just had a shield. Okay. All right, Ushav definitely died here, and there should be vampire blood in the water. So now, let us. We will we will leave the hatch open, for sure. And uh, is this still a this is a water source, right? Uh, I. Water source. Let's shut off all the other water sources that aren't from this well. Uh, so that would be up here. We'll say this is not a water source. And let's see if we can stop our doors from drinking for a while. And this is, this, this is something of an experiment. And I will go back to the stills. And I will say, um, and we, did, we just did this, but I'm going to redo it. Workshop profile. Um, brewing is not allowed. Uh, and these two stills down here also. Brewing is not allowed. Good. And then we will try to shut people out. People are going to maybe starve a little bit if I, sh if I lock these doors. We'll have to wait till see if I can time this so that the doors get out of here. And then I'm going to prevent doors from coming in. If I can time it right. It's going to be hard because doors are always coming in and out. Uh, I'll forbid all but one, which I did last time. And then... All right, come on out. Come on out. No one come in. Okay. No doors in here. Forbid passage. No one is allowed in the pantry anymore, and we're not making any more drinks. Um, we are still making food at the kitchen, so we can make new meals. Um, and maybe I'll put a little stockpile down for meals. Uh, temporarily. Uh, that would be P. Food. We'll just put one, um, like, right here. And that'll be fine. Good. So people can still uh, make new meals and eat. Uh, and put, you know, put put some food down there. 
and um, and they won't be able to drink anything. They're not making new. And so, so for, if they're not allowed to drink alcohol, and they're only, you know, they don't. Dwarves don't like drinking water. But if the only place they have to drink is the well that we made, in theory, all of our dwarves should, at some point, start drinking vampire blood. Now, not all, you know, our dwarves might. If, if my theory is correct, and we actually pull this off, our dwarves will, like, become vampires in a staggered fashion, like a one, two, three, four, five, and it may be that at some point we reach some kind of critical mass of vampires that they just start killing all the non-vampires. And I think I'm okay with that. If we get enough vampires that, like, we can't control the vampires anymore, like, if we can't control all the murder, like, we will just have a new fortress of just vampires, and that's fine. That is just fine. In fact, we may not need to make alcohol anymore, if that's the case. And that would be pretty crazy, because vampires don't need to eat or drink. They just have cravings for blood, like insatiable cravings, but they don't need it to live. Need radish siege. Okay, yeah, here's, here's a dwarf getting water. So this dwarf, in theory, will become a vampire? Who is this? This is Etur, filling pond. Oh, you're not getting water. You're filling a pond. Uh, let me make sure that that pond is not a water source. Yeah, I almost had it. Yeah, it was a water source. So not anymore. Uh, I will still have them fill it, I guess. Because I do want it to be a nice pool. Yes, approved. You are a soldier. Um... Wow, that's a lot of cancellation spam. We need a lot of seeds. What happened to our seeds? Um, we are pressing honey from honeycomb. That's nice. Okay. Radish seeds. Why is it? Why are we getting so much spam about that? Is there something weird up here going on? I don't think so. Where's the, where are the radishes? Radish seeds. I guess maybe the... Um, the season change, and we can suddenly start growing radishes in a place. Here. Yeah, we're, we're planting radishes. Like, there are radishes growing here. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Why is this being all weird? It doesn't matter. Okay, so the vampire is dead. I just real. Oh my gosh. You know what I should have done while the vampire was in midair falling? While the vampire was falling, I should have gone to the Dwarven Justice System and said the murder was id. Can I convict id, even though id is dead? But now id might be Ushav now. I have to look for two names. Can you convict a dead person? Ushav, id. Now we tried this before when id was uh, off the map, but that's not really the case anymore. You're on the map, you're just dead. I should have done this before you were dead. Ushav or Id. Oh, deceased. So I should be able to. There you are. It was Id. You too. It was a possum. It was a fox. It was a crundle. Wow, it's a lot of deceased folks. Uh, I think I should have gone down the other way. Ant-Man Blowgunner. Okay, here we go. There you are. Okay. And now there's this. Violation of protection order. But you already, um... Yeah, you already suffered the punishment for that. Okay, so we've convicted someone who is dead. No one should be falsely punished for that, I don't think. And we convicted, you know, that is the person that committed those crimes, so... What are you, the masterwork? Flow... Flo, what are you so good at? Uh, that's not what I meant. You are a legendary stone crafter. Lovely. Wait a minute, what? Uh, hold up. And what else? High master appraiser. Oh, cool. Very nice. Right, you're our, you're our organizer. Or our manager, whatever. Cool. Is this, are these all rough? Yeah, we have not been, we have not been cutting gems. We have a lot of gems. Lapis Lazuli. 
Uh, how do I... Yeah, cut the lapis last. Why can't I cut? Oh! I can only encrust with lapis. Do I do that? Do I start encrusting things? Encrust... Furniture? Finish goods? Let's encrust some furniture with lapis lazuli. Do 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 lapis lazuli. Yeah, I should I could I I should probably make um, manager jobs for a bunch of these. I could turn on auto cut gems for a little bit and then turn it off. Wait, no, that's not a thing, is it? I was just playing. So if you guys don't know, I have a multiplayer Dwarf Fortress series that I'm going to plug here. It's not on my channel. It's on Civilian's channel. Um, so check Civilian out. Uh, I do have a playlist that contains, you know, she publishes the, uh, our, our series in segments every week, once a week. So uh, that playlist is on my channel. Um, but it's those videos are on her channel. So check that out because uh, it's a really great series. We just play Dwarf Fortress together using TeamViewer. Both sharing controls um, is pretty fun. But yeah, uh, she was playing. We played today, actually, earlier today. And she had, in between game sessions, installed DF Hack, which I am um, pretty opposed to, like, philosophically myself. You know, it's fine if she wants to use it, but, like, I, I'm just not used to it. I'm not playing that game. And I kind of, like, kind of fake, kind of real, made a big deal about it. And uh, one of the things that it lets you do is auto cut gems and i was i was like oh we could auto no that's a feature of df hack we're not gonna do it so um yeah that that's where i stand on df hack i do use dwarf therapist as you know but that's pretty much it look everyone's here are these people um drink yes drink 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 from the well of blood excellent no one's drinking down here but that's okay Everyone's drinking here, and they're drinking from that artifact, uh, the artifact bucket, I guess. The well, the well has an artifact bucket. Oh, it makes me happy to see this. Oh, we're gonna have vampires. Oh yes, so many vampires. We had to sacrifice Id, but that's okay. We still need to rename Dubbo. We were going to name Dubbo after. I think we were going to. Uh, we're gonna name Dubbo after the. Uh, name a new dwarf Dubbo after the person who killed Id, but no one killed Id. We had Id, you know, we we executed Id with a trap. So I think what's going to happen, I think what I'm going to do is if someone does successfully recover Talonborn, uh, which I th think was an artifact that was somehow related to Dubbo, um, if memory serves, we went on a whole, there's a whole episode about Talonborn and Dubbo and Id. Uh, we are going to um, uh, name that dwarf, whoever recovers the artifact uh, after Dubbo again. Um, I could, can I, I could make this tavern a little, the tavern is so crazy. The thing is, it's also not on a stone level. It's like half stone, half sand. So I can't really make it too nice. Although over here I could make nice. That's fine. Uh, you know what? Can I smooth this out here? Yeah. Okay. I can smooth all this out. Like a pathway. I think... What was I going to do here? Make like a menagerie or something? Maybe? Most of it is rock, but like parts of it are... I don't know. It's weird. So we'll do that. Those quartz. Um... Yeah, I could, I could do more in stuff. Maybe I should do that, like, off camera if I can remember. Uh, one thing that I do want to do that I keep forgetting about is um, our pit, right? Where's our pit? Here it is. Yeah, we haven't looked at this in a while. And I'm realizing if we wanted to really be, like, a Colosseum-style arena, people can't just, like, sit here and be able to see down in the pit. We need to have, like, stadium seating, right? How far down can this... This can go down really far if we want. So, and we can't have it go up up too far, I don't think. So I think what we might do um, is start channeling even more. So let's channel. Um, we'll keep just like one tier... We want it to have some tiered seating, is what I'm saying. So we will have it go down. 
um, like stadium seating style. And then we'll just keep going down until we get probably an area like this big. And that'll be like a shaft that goes down. And people can watch the fights from there. From, from a relatively safe distance. Right. I think. I think this makes sense. Um, yeah, I think this, this is going to be good. This looks good. I think. Good, and then, good, and then, <laughs> good, and do we have another double one? I think so. And then singles. Do I keep one there? You know what? I think not here and here. Wait a minute. This is two and this is three what did i do something wrong oh i did do something wrong oh i did something wrong hold on one two one two one two one two one two one two and then one 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 and one 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 this should like be back one right in theory or really, I shouldn't have carved this out. What I can do is put like a wall here and just dig this out. I think that's probably the easiest way to do this. Yeah. Dig that out. Put a wall right here. And then we'll move those doors. Um, do we have blocks? Maple blocks. Do we have stone blocks, please? Um, do we have limestone blocks? Do I need to put in another, like, stone block job? Green glass blocks, one. Am I missing something? Sand pair. Phylite. There we go. Okay. And then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll remove these doors. And I guess we probably already have doors we can just replace here. Okay. Good. And that'll be symmetrical. And then actually, yeah, let's then channel... Oh, everything everything got really slow for a second. Uh, channel... Here? Yeah. That'll look good. This is a mining job here, right? Okay, not a channeling job. Okay, good. Good, good. I think we need some more copper chains. Uh, let's... Do we have a job for those? Copper chains? Copper chains. Copper chains. Oh! I don't think we do. Forge copper chain. Um, let's make three at a time. And conditions, RP. Uh at a time so that we don't actually need any coal so delete this uh, remove delete there and we'll say we'll want to keep five at all times cool we'll start making some I like it all right are people still drinking oh you're drinking on this level you're drinking on this oh I love it people are drinking I like this color scheme that like uh, cyan uh, yellow red I like that that's a good color scheme. Maybe I picked the wrong channel colors. What do you think? Okay. It's like it's like dark yellow. I don't know why I'm getting so much spam about seeds. I don't know if that's normal. I don't think I used to be getting all that. Um, it has been missing for a week. Oh, yeah. I guess we do. We should commemorate the vampire. For sure. Let's go to our workshops. Make a slab. We might have a slab, actually. Let's. Uh, in which case, we'll just engrave one at a craft dwarf shop, I believe. 
Uh, engrave. For no slabs engraved, not my more. Okay. Where's it? Um, oh, wait, that's Ushav. Uh, at the top, Ushav. And uh, do it now. Cool. And then we'll put that in the cemetery. And yeah, cemetery looks okay. You know what? Let's uh, let's smooth this out. Tombs. People are going to want tombs, right? Like nice areas to be buried in. When people need tombs, they want nice ones. Okay. Cool. What is all this red stuff here? Oh, clay. I don't know if we need... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. I don't care. It's not like we make a lot of stuff out of clay. Mostly just like instrument pieces. We just take clay whenever we get it from merchants. There are no merchants here. Yeah, we just have a lot of stuff that needs hauling, I guess. Although, we have ten idlers? Do we just not have anywhere to store this stuff? Like, what is this? Tea. Fish pots. Oh! Maybe we don't have anywhere to put the plants. Fish pots. No, we should. I mean, would they, people should put it in these stockpiles, I think. I don't know. I don't know why it's here. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. But whatever. It's fine. People can still eat from there, I assume. Okay. All right. So, did we build a floor um, over, he over uh, here? Oh, yeah, we surely did. And we have adventurers. Wait, what, what is that you're holding? Eurist. What is that? Um, what's your, what's, what are you holding? Oh, it's a book. You're holding animals in the climate understood. You're hauling it. What is this? It's a pigtail choir. Uh, it's a manual entitled Animals in the Climate Understood, authored by Amsel Boltz Calls. It concerns the ways that creatures are suited to the climates. So you're like doing research. You're like taking that that book out to to uh, if this is true, if you're actually taking this book with you to like look at creatures and the climates in which they live and like compare it to the book, that would be amazing. We're going to follow you a bit. I'm going to follow you. So this bridge is made, and yeah, we are we are able to explore this area now. This is cool. You're like a little naturalist. Is that the right word? Oh, this is neat. Now we could actually start uh, grabbing some of these silk. That's ore. What is that? Ah, uh, tetrahedrite. What is this? Graphite. Tetrahedrite is... We, we found tetrahedrite before. That's disappointing. Oh, we, uh, we're not following you anymore? Where are you going? Did I lose you? Did you go off... I think they went off the map. They went off exploring. Off map. Oh, we're hunting storks. Yeah, that's fine. We don't have any, like, starving dwarves in the trees or anything like that, do we? No. I resume. Okay, but I'm glad we have breached the caverns now. The, the, the like, mid-tier caverns. And are able to do some exploring here. That makes me happy. Yeah. So, yeah. Tetrahedrite isn't great. Uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to collect the bodies that are under here. Like, I'm not going to bridge over to them because I don't want the blood cleaned up. That would be bad. Um... Okay. But yeah, it would be nice if we found some iron ore. That would be amazing. Instead of just tetrahedrite. But you know what? We have this tetrahedrite. We might as well, um... We might as well mine it out, right? Let's do some... Auto... Uh... Auto mining ore. And... Do some over here. Where, where's the bridge? How am I lost? How am I lost? Here's here here's. Alright, here's the bridge. 
go over here. We go up, 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 up here, up. Here's the ore. Can we get there? No, we can't really get over there. We can get over here, though. Oh, did that not? Um, D. Auto mining. Good. Auto mine. Do it. Um, okay, I guess that's that's fine. Yeah, a lot of the ore is just above. We could also mine out some gems. I don't think we really need to, though. But man, I wonder how many vampires we have at this point. Assuming that's working. It might not be working. People might not actually be, get it, be contracting vampirism from drinking this water. But man, look at all the people drinking this water. Look at this. I love it. You're all thirsty and you're all drinking. I think you're all drinking. Uh, actually, a lot of you are filling ponds. Some of you are drinking. Some are giving water to people. Cool. Good. Very good. Very excellent. All right, so people are channeling out here. I did add, uh, before we started this game, I added a couple of miners, uh, people that weren't really doing much because it's like fishing and stuff. Um, everything's going pretty well. I wonder if we... We had that mission to... We told people to... Um, where are missions? Are these being done? Cannot be altered. Yeah, I guess we sent people... Oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that was forever ago. You're not coming back. Right. We told... We have a mission to seize load leaps, but we haven't told anyone to do it yet. Maybe we should. Load leaps. Let's take a look at load leaps. Um, first. Uh, is it this it? Fell haunted. I think it's it's around here, right? Oh, it's around here. Uh, load leaps. This is a human hamlet. No contact. So we're not we're not at war or peace with them. And it would be easy to take over. Right? Yeah, so let's do it. I think we have... I think I can send the, glo uh, the glorious boats. I don't think they're doing anything right now. Yeah, let's do it. Um... B -b 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 I think so. Let's ch let's check on their skill here. It says no relevant skills, but ton, ton. Where are you? Wait, it's not. You're not the same ton, right? No, different ton. Is it you? We have too many tons. I don't know. We're gonna send them out. Um. Missions, seize, assign, the glorious boats. You're going to get Talonborn, right? Recover it. It's weird. It says recover the mystery of the something. It doesn't say to get Talonborn, which is what I wanted you to do. Okay, well, I don't know if something messed up there. No, this is Recover Talonborn. We have a mission for it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, in any case, I wanted to look at our holdings, is what I wanted. And I wanted to see over here, do we still have, um, in Syrup Autumns, the workers... Yeah, it looks like the messenger... Did we actually get the people that we had requested, I guess is what I was wondering. I think maybe we did, if our messenger came back. Did our messenger come back? I don't see anything like that. Um, we got a lot of spam, though. Well, let's, che let's check our messenger. So it's locations, right? Uh, Girder Diamonds, we should have a messenger. Aban Atolsazir. Aban. And then I have to find you. A ban. A ban. A ban. A ban. Yeah, you might not be here. A ban. I don't 
see you. So they, yeah, I think a band might still be out getting them, but it, it looks like if those people were not in Seer Bottoms, maybe we already retrieved them and are on their way back, maybe? Although it could also just be that I was looking at the wrong holding. <laughs> very, very possible. I'm not too worried about it though. Um, I'm sure they'll come back soon. I don't remember what they were legendary at, but it was something. Um, before we go, before we le end this episode, is there anything else we want to do? Uh, let's let's put down that slab for um, for Ushav or Id. Uh, expand. Gabro Memorial. Yes gonna be lovely and then it will be we don't want any vampire ghosts running around here haunting our fortress i love our library so much it looks so cool i really like it we could put down some more bookcases maybe yeah uh do we have any i assume we we do that's a candle not a bookcase um alt c yeah that does not make a case i guess let's put some like on the back row here yeah we have Ooh. We have a bunch. Um, yeah, the middle one can be gap row. How about that? Yeah, three back there. I like it. Yeah, we have a bunch. Cool. Okay, um, I guess that's going to be the end of the episode. I don't know if we should... I don't know if it's... I am not. I don't think I'm going to cheat to try to see like who is a vampire and who isn't. But... I'm going to assume that a bunch of our doors at this point are vampires, and it's going to be crazy. We're going to get a lot of deaths, and some of those deaths are going to be deaths that we don't want to happen, and we're going to have to live with that if we want a, a, a fortress of vampires. I think it's going to be good. I think, ultimately, it's going to be very good. Vampires are pretty awesome. Um, and our FPS is low. What, 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 what is happening? I guess we did breach... Some more caverns and stuff. And this should allow monster hunters to do some fun stuff, too. Although we already were breaching the lower caverns. Like, that's been open for some time. Um, can we reach... Is there anything we can reach here that we want to... Uh... Yeah, we can dig. We can auto-mine these and... Uh, and also, yeah, there's a lot of ore to auto mine over here. Why don't we just do that? And are we gathering silk? I would love to gather silk at this point. Um, settings, gather, was it a workshop order? Auto collect webs. We are collecting webs. I think we just need a job to make stuff out of silk if we don't have it. Um, where's a bag, uh, our bag jobs? Bags. Cloth bag. Let's do silk bags as well. Uh, silk. Oh, silk. Um, I think just silk bags. I don't think we need any of the other stuff. Um, make five at a time. And uh, RP. When we have five of these. And boxes and bags. Well, let's say, can we say silk boxes? Silk boxes and bags is um, at most 10. Yes. Oh, and uh, empty, too. Uh, trait empty. Empty silk boxes and bags. Great. I like it. We're going to get a lot of stuff. That should be nice. Uh, we, there are plenty of spider webs to collect and turn into um, turn into bags. Stupid Kias. I don't know what to do about these Kias, honestly. Oh, right. Uh, one thing we can do to prevent some of that theft is, before I forget, assign the puppy to this restraint. Where are you, pup? We might also want to slaughter some of these chicks and stuff. Or, you know, we can wait till they grow up. We're gonna get a lot of meat that way. Did I already pass the puppy? I think I did. Hold on. Let's uh, make this a little easier on ourselves here. Uh, that didn't... Zooming out didn't actually help anything, did it? Um, pup, pup, pup. Puppy. Where are you, puppy? Are you... Am I, maybe you're a dog now? I'm sure I'm looking for the wrong thing. I guess... I mean, we, it did say that we could... Um, I guess if someone has you as a pet, we can't restrain you? 
Is that it? Because I don't see you. I do not see the puppy to be able to restrain you. Because having dogs do that, uh, you know, it definitely prevents um, thieves from being able to get in. Oh, well. That's too bad. Maybe we restrain the Hydra here. Wouldn't that be fun? No, that would be probably a very dangerous idea. Although I could be wrong about that. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments. Leave comments anyway. Uh, I really enjoyed playing with you today. And I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.